federal government and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, are working out a strategic initiative to target zero-dose children, those who are yet to receive any vaccine routine schedule in Nigeria. The collaborative measures primarily focusing on high burden states aim to prevent duplication of efforts for optimal results, with Zamfara and Niger states identified as having the highest numbers. During a media roundtable discussion on the importance of immunization for vaccine preventable diseases, Senior Immunization Specialist at the Global Health Center US CDC, Dr. Hadley Ikwe, said the immunization exercise will unfold in phases. Assistance, you know, increasing funding in a way uh, for immunization as well as zero reduction. But we are doing that the usual way of just going to try to vaccinate in the health facilities. The plan is to have optimized micro planning. And so this includes using geospatial information system maps and GIS maps, trying to use um, digitization of data, but working also house to house identifying those children that continue to be missed, whether we're doing campaigns or we're doing uh, free sessions. And then we're trying to integrate the services as much as possible because these um, children suffer multiple deprivations. The one generation is one area that we think is very really critical. And we, uh, through our implementing partners, uh, have engaged world volunteers. These are supposed to be people who work mainly within the communities, especially in these security areas, in places that are very hard to reach, in places that traditionally get missed, whether from the routine services or from campaigns or additional services. Speaking on the evaluation and monitoring, Speaking on the evaluation and monitoring aspect, the leader of Nigeria CDC, Dr. Patricia Tanifum, emphasized that local data is crucial in determining responses to ensure an effective vaccination campaign. We are collecting data and we are monitoring month by month to see our performance by local government, by state, and as a country. And we are using that local data to take decisions to go here and complete our work, go there and come here. But what we do will only be measured at a global level the year after. The CDC's latest report indicates a global challenge with over 19 million zero dose children worldwide. Nigeria carries the highest burden globally accounting for 2.3 million zero-dose children susceptible to various diseases. Alarming statistics reveal that in 2021, only 57% of eligible children received full vaccinations. 